This is Leet Code House Robber 2, and before we get started, make sure to watch my video on House Robber 1 because we're going to be using that knowledge in this video. I'll put a link in the description down below. So in House Robber 1, the way the algorithm works is if you're considering this 2 here, you can't consider any adjacent houses, and so the answer would be 4. But in this case, the first and last elements are actually adjacent, so you actually can't consider this one in this case too. Now, we're going to use the same exact algorithm from House Robber 1 with just a minor twist. If you think about it, if you're considering this first element here, that means you cannot consider this last element. So really, when you do the algorithm, you do the algorithm for this array, just like normal. However, you also have to consider the case where the algorithm could give you a larger output if you consider this here, the last element, and not the first element. So you also need to consider this array the same algorithm. So really the answer is just the maximum of these two arrays. In terms of time complexity, it's O of 2n because we're doing an O of n algorithm twice, which is just O of n. And the space complexity is the same exact thing. We're storing a data structure of n size twice, which reduces down to O of n. Now before we get to the code, if you found that helpful so far, please give a like and a subscribe because it really helps the YouTube algorithm. And let's get to the code. So I have the code from the original problem here, and I called it rob inner, and we're going to be using this function. So first off, let's check if the length of nums is equal to one. We're just going to return nums of zero. If not, we're going to return the maximum of self rob inner with nums considering the first element all the way up until the second last element. And we're going to consider rob inner of nums from the second element all the way up until the last element. And that's all there is to it. So really, it's a pretty simple problem if you have that idea where you can just cut the array into two parts. So again, if you found that helpful, please give a like and a subscribe for more of these kind of videos. And I'll see you next time.